Welcome to Pi and Squaring the Circle, part one of three parts. If you have an open mind as well as the courage to explore the unknown, this presentation is for you. Make sure to view all three short videos in sequence. They follow a natural progression. Part 1 outlines the relationship of the diameter of a circle with respect to its circumference, pi. Part 2 outlines the relationship between the side of a square derived from a circle with respect to the diameter of the circle, pi. Pi is the constant that we use in our formulas to calculate the circumferences, surface areas and volumes of circles, spheres and cylinders. Part 3 shows us how we can construct a square with the same surface area of any given circle, squaring the circle. We start our presentation by going back to basics. What is a circle? A circle is a continuous arc that surrounds a fixed point O, which is the center of the circle. The distance between the center and the circumference line of the circle is the radius. Notice that there are no straight lines in a circle. A circle is a continuous curved line arc with no beginning and no end. How do we draw a circle? We use a drawing compass. A compass is a divider in which one point is fixed and the other point is a marker. The distance between the points is adjustable. A compass is a drawing instrument with which we can draw circles with different diameters. One point remains fixed and the other point moves in a circle. When we draw a circle with a compass we discover that the radius of the circle, the distance between the points, remains constant and subdivides the circle exactly into six equal segments. This means that the relationship, the ratio between the radius and the circumference is exactly 1 to 6. Bows. Assume we now draw straight lines between the six arcs of the circle. The circle will remain the same, however, instead of arcs we now have six bows. A bow has an arc, curved line, and a chord straight line. A bow can measure straight lines as well as curved lines. The bows divide the circumference into six chords and six arcs. Diameter. When we draw a straight line through the center of a circle we refer to the line as the diameter. The diameter is made up of two bows, arcs facing opposite sides of the circle two chords in tandem. Should we now place the two bows, bows in tandem on the circumference of the circle, we will discover that the large bows subdivides the circle into three equal segments. Remember previously we placed the two chords in tandem on the diameter of the circle. The ratio between each bow and the circumference is now 2 to 6 or 1 to 3. Pi is 1 third. This value for pi is confirmed in Kings, Kings 1 chapter 7 verse 23 of the King James Bible. And he made a molten sea, 10 cubits from one brim to the other. It was round all about, and his height was five cubits, and a line of thirty cubits did compass it around about. 
Notice that the diameter is 10 cubits and the circumference is 30 cubits. Pi is therefore 1 to 3. In part 2 we will examine and establish the relationship pi between the side of a square derived from our circle and the diameter of a circle with the same circumference as the square.